can get in. Not even a rat undetected. One of the problems, Mr. Cowley, is that you people in the West are too damn soft. Oh, I don't make the rules shake. I just carry them out. Nevertheless, you must have views of your own. Sure. I'd like to be able to shoot every terrorist in sight, but... Uh... And you, Dr. Harbinger, would you have them shot, these hyenas? Sheikh Akmiga, that is a very loaded question, and you know it is. Always the clever diplomat, eh, Doctor? We're not around the conference table now. Everything we say is off the record. Right, Mr. Cowley? Well, you see, I learned the hard way that the one sure way to get yourself quoted is to talk off the record. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, gentlemen. If your governments won't take a firm line on terrorism, you should ship all your suspected terrorists to us in Morani. We know how to deal with them. And we don't have an electorate to please. Well, I'll remember your kind offer when I get back home. There are quite a few people I'd be delighted to send to you. <laughs> I'm not in a suit that color. Oh? Too conspicuous. Makes you an easy target. Well, I'll just have to keep moving. Yes, but not alone. Oh, you join me. Oh, I'd love to, but... Uh... Oh, too bad. Never mind. I can always delegate. Snap. At least it reduces the odds. And now it's only one and three. Mr. Cowley, you're gonna go far. Has the mail arrived? Oh, not yet, sir. It'll still be on its way from London. I'm expecting urgent documents. So are we all. I uh, nearly didn't. you did promise that the mail truck would be here on time every morning. The guard room. must continue. I'm sorry. Sorry? Hey, you just saved my life. I shouldn't have had to. It's been a most interesting experience, Mr. Cowley. I've learned a great deal. But I still say you should follow the example of Morani and excuse terrorists without hesitation. Well, that may be your way, Sheikh Ahmeya. It can't be ours. Goodbye. Well, thanks for everything, Mr. Cowley. We survived, Doctor. Right. You know, I reckon it was your quick thinking that scared off Ramos. Perhaps. Well, goodbye, Mr. Cowley. Bye, Doctor.
What the hell? We should have been informed. I don't care what the Home Office or your people say. Our orders were to get Forrest out from under and fly straight back to the States. Get Forrest out from under what? He's an ex-mafia accountant. Twenty years ago, we put the finger on him. But he turned state's evidence, provided we set him up with a new identity. Change of face, change of scene. What, the mob chased him here after all these years? Mm. Those guys have long memories. They never close the book. You know what they say? Once a crook, always a crook. Well, Forrest's been dabbling over here, and that wasn't very smart. It's like it or not, the mob's here, too. Forrest got into a land deal with an American company, but he didn't know he was dealing with a group fronting for the boys. Their lawyer turned out to be a guy Forrest had worked with way back. So... Potential papers. If I were you, Dick, I'd stop worrying about any of this and start looking for a new partner. How's it going? Hello? Yes. It's for you. Hello, yes. Oh, it's about time. That's where Dawes' phone call came from. No wonder the contract missed the target. Your mobsters gave the contract to kill Forrest the Crab, Forrest's partner. British Airways announced the departure of Flight 501. That's us. British Airways announced the departure of Flight 501. It's all there. It's strange to see Sydney again, even if it is only a flying visit. You fellas ever been to Australia? Can't say that I have. What about you, Arthur? Yeah. You're not going there either. We've got something else in mind for you. A long stay in this country. On the moors, probably. 